Welcome back. Everyone gets headaches from time to time or pain in the neck, but when medication isn't helping and it doesn't seem to go away, that pain can become debilitating. Here to tell us how to manage it, welcome Dr. Jaime Robledo and Olga, an acupuncturist at Dr. Robledo's office. Hi there. <laughs> So many people suffer from, from migraines and other kinds of pains, but they don't understand where it's coming from, so their only option is to go ahead and medicate it, and sometimes that just doesn't work. What are the biggest causes of, of those types of mystery headaches, if you will? Okay, one of uh, cervicogenic headaches is a headache specifically that, that has its origin in the neck. It's a headache that most people associate with muscle tension in the neck, comes to the back of the head, and then to the front. Yeah. It looks almost, and it feels almost like a migraine. <laughs> but uh, the source is different. So that's what we're trying to uh, explain today, trying to uh, pe make people aware that these are uh, different kinds of headaches that require a different kind of treatment. Yeah, which a lot of times will happen, like I say, if somebody had whiplash, and they might not associate right. with it, that that's the reason why they're having the series of headaches. The most common cause of cervicogenic headaches are people that have been injured, that have to send an injury to the neck, whiplash, but it doesn't have to be just whiplash. Right. Just having your, having your neck uh, place in an awkward position with time will develop uh, this type of headaches. Yeah. And this has, these headaches are associated mainly with uh, inflammation of some of the joints in the neck, especially the upper joints in the neck. Yeah, that would. If you can see here, um, the C23 joint, which is right here, mm -hmm. is highly associated with this uh, type of headaches. Um, when you examine a patient, usually by placing your, your finger around this, this area would actually trigger or feel like uh, the type of headache. Ah, uh, and see, a lot of times when we're thinking headache, we think the problem has to be all right here or maybe even in the sinuses, right. but uh, it, this could be the originator of that. All right, so when it comes to treatment, what are we talking about? Because again, a lot of times we run to a pill, but it's about more than that. Right, uh, for cervicogenic headaches, there's a couple ways we can treat this. Obviously, physical therapy is good. Um, mobilization and stabilization of the neck is important. Mm -hmm. When this fails and patients come to me, and many times they come to me because I say, well, my neurologist has been trying to treat my migraine headaches and they, the medications are not working. Then identifying the source first is the first step. Second, we do a, a series of diagnostic tests. The first one, we take the patient to the operating room on the fluoroscopy and on the mild sedation. I inject the nerves that give sensation to those joints. Mm -hmm. C23 joint, joint would be an injection here and here, local anesthetic only. We send the patient home and we ask them for the next 24 hours, tell me how you feel. Right. Is your neck feeling better? Are your headaches getting better? Or do they get better at least for that day? And if they come back and they tell me, my headaches are, are better, at least for the weekend or at least for two days, one day, uh, I, I felt some relief. We repeat the procedure a second time, and in the second time, they come back and say, I got the same result. Then we proceed for the final treatment uh, procedure, which would be a radio frequency ablation. Huh, and so, and then those headaches, a lot of your patients say never have them again. Well, and then no, others have to manage it. What I do is we, uh, on the third procedure, we come, up, we come back, and with a special needle, we place it right where these nerves are, are located and we burn those nerves. We don't destroy the nerves, we only stop them from working. If it's done successfully, most patients get about nine to 12 months of pain relief. Oh, wow. During that time, I always tell my patients, this is time for you to learn how to heal your body. Physical therapy is important. Trying to make changes in the way you position your head and the way you move uh, your neck will be important so these headaches will not come back and the yeah. problem will be resolved. And acupuncture is a part of treatment as well. Yes, correct. Acupuncture looks at um, every person as an individual. It's a completely different way of uh, looking at uh, any kind of disease. So you look at the source instead of treating just the symptoms. Mm -hmm. And when you take a pill, you really don't treat the source. Yeah, you're just getting rid of the symptom, yeah, but the yeah. problem's still there. So everybody can have the same symptoms and think, oh, I have a headache, I have a headache, I have a headache, so what kind of treatment will you give me? Everybody is going to be treated different because where does it come from? That's what that's where acupuncture comes in, and that's the treatment uh, with acupuncture. Yeah, because like Dr. Robledo said, you said help the body heal itself, and with acupuncture, that's what we're doing is helping the body heal itself. I do believe that uh, when we have exhausted all the co the conventional treatment choices for a patient, trying acupuncture and alternative medicine choices, 
it's a good idea. Yeah. Uh, and the last thing is, if somebody is having a series of headaches, should they ask themselves some questions? Like, did I jerk my head in, you know, in, a, in, in a way and, and feel something pop? Or did I uh, have somebody run into me and I didn't, didn't think it was a problem with whiplash? Because a lot of times with whiplash, we, we think, we're OK. We're fine. And we walk away. We don't see blood. We walk away. But uh, so ask yourself a series of questions. Like, was there ever a point where you may have had um, some trauma to your neck and not realized it? Absolutely. Patients that have been involved in a car accident and they feel fine uh, years down the road they might develop neck pain they might develop headaches and if they put one and two together they say well maybe this is there's a different source for my headaches yeah um, the classic patient that I see in my office usually women between 30 and 40 have been involved in, in a car accident they usually have long necks um, and uh, they have migraine headaches that are not well controlled with medications. Hmm. And they look almost like a migraine headache. Okay. We're going to wrap up with the fact that every uh, person, women in your office, has these animal print shoes, and I love that. Okay. <laughs> Dr. Robledo has a special offer for new patients. If you call and mention you saw this segment on Great Day, the first five callers will get six complimentary acupuncture sessions. Acupuncture can help with weight loss, headaches, stress, just about everything. Give them a call at 281-727-0000, 281 one seven two seven zero 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 or log on to modulatepain.com modulatepain.com up next october is breast cancer awareness month getting a mammogram is one of the most important things you can do as a woman